Great white sharks being hunted by killer whales. Great white sharks are widely seen as the ocean's most feared predator, but three separate incidents of their carcasses washing ashore in South Africa this past month would suggest that they too have something to fear, orca whales. Marine scientists dissecting these great whites have observed a fascinating pattern. The bodies, each wrought with orca bites, are missing the shark's liver. The organs were removed with almost surgical precision, offering us new understanding about the hunting behaviors and capabilities of the killer whale. Great white sharks traverse the ocean as solitary creatures, but orca whales, referred to as the wolves of the sea, are often known to hunt as a pod. When hunting sharks, orca whales use their powerful tails to create strong underwater currents from below, forcing unsuspecting great whites to the surface. The whale then stuns its prey. It then lifts its tail out of the water and swings down with tremendous force, unleashing a fatal blow. The great white shark's liver holds a high concentration of squalene, a steroid and hormone-producing compound attractive to killer whales. South Africa's recent influx of great white shark carcasses absent of a liver is leading scientists to believe the whales may be relaying this hunting strategy amongst their pod. The researchers think the sharks may have now become of interest to the orcas because their typical food sources are diminishing from pollution and climate change. In the five years prior to these findings, only four great white shark carcasses had washed ashore in this particular region. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Turns out sharks enjoy the taste of whale, too. Great white sharks enjoy dead whale feeding frenzy. An 11-foot-long female minke whale was spotted floating belly up on Wednesday morning in Cape Cod Bay, which is off North Truro, Massachusetts. The carcass was reportedly in good condition until as many as six great white sharks began feeding on it on Thursday. The sharks ate the tongue, internal organs, and most of the muscle, with the whale carcass beyond recognizable after the shark's feast. Yum! The rest of the body later washed up near Noon's Landing in North Truro. As a result, three beaches, Noon's Landing, Beach Point, and Cold Storage, were all closed to swimmers, lest more hungry sharks decide to enjoy their dead whale with a side of live human. Video captured by Diver shows sharks feeding on whale carcass. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Aussie idiot sadly does not get eaten by sharks. Harrison Williams and friends were on a boat enjoying the waters off Western Australia over the weekend when they noticed something very large bobbing up and down in the water, which turned out to be a several week old dead whale. Now you or I might find such a sight a rare and interesting addition to your weekend, but Williams is into extreme sports. And this 26 year old thought it would be totally rad if he swam over and surfed on the whale corpse. And so he did, much to the delight of his immature friends. But then Williams looked down and noticed about a gazillion humongous hungry sharks, including a great white or two, enjoying some decaying whale sashimi. Finally, in his only sane act of the day, Williams wisely got his friends to rescue him with the boat, narrowly avoiding a Darwin Award nomination.